Hey everyone, it's your buddy Keith, here again live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England. I've got a very rare bass to show you today. If you're new to the channel, come join the circle of friends. It's free. It costs you nothing. All right? Click subscribe, click like on the video, and uh, you're in the club, guys. All right. This is a 1983 to 1985 Steinberger XP2 bass. This is where it all began, guys. You have the XL2, and this is the XP2. What's the difference? Uh, this is the bolt-on version with kind of the, the A-frame. The L-series looks like a cricket bat, and this one uh, looks a bit cooler in my opinion. You also have very early EMG passive pickups. These are originals. Steinberger logo looks perfect, looks awesome. You've got the famous headless tuning system here with all the correct patent information. The fretboard and frets look brand new. Really, really nice, guys. This is about as clean as these come. We've only seen, I think, six or seven earlier examples on the Steinberger database. So this is a very early model. Uh, the serial numbers, this one's in the 1100 range. The 1200 to 2047 range is all confirmed 1985. So this is probably going to be somewhere around 84 is my guess. Super heavy duty knobs here. All right. On the side, let's show this to you. You've got the famous Steinberger kickstand. Go ahead and, whoa. Go ahead and flip that down. Doing this all one handed. There we go. So I'll probably go on, on this side over here. So that's what's printed on the other side of the kickstand. I've seen aftermarket kickstands. That's what, the way it's supposed to look. And then the serial number on this model is on the side of the neck. Steinberger USA N1197. 1197. Very early serial number, guys. And it's just a flip kickstand. That's it. To me, these scream 80s. Like, if you want to own the 1980s, you have to buy a headless Steinberger bass. And the basses were made first. Um, Ned Steinberger originally worked with Stuart Spector on his early instruments in Brooklyn, New York. They both worked at the same wood shop. This is from the, the second location. I'm trying to remember where it is in New York that they moved to. But this is the pre-Gibson era which is the most desirable era. And um, as you can see on the back, the paint's in really good shape for being about 35 years old. Not a lot of blemishes and defects. Neck's great. You got a little bit of a line in the paint, a little bit of line in the lacquer if this thing wants to get into focus there. There we are. So. Yeah, you can see like a very light, thin hairline scratching the lacquer there. And um, overall, just really good condition. Everything looks original. All of the, the hex bolts that they use, the hex head, Allen key, even on the um, strap there. It's rare to see them completely original. And intact like this, guys. Like I said, there's only six or seven on the website registered as uh, being lower serial numbers. So if you want an opportunity to get one of the first ever early, early New York XP2s, this is your shot. We're putting it up for $17.99 on the website. That's pounds, guys. Don't get too excited. It's, that's not pesos. 1799 British sterling pounds 
We do sell and ship internationally, worldwide. This will be on Reverb.com because they host our website and we are good buddies with them. And other than that, just enjoy the video. Enjoy seeing one of these up close. You might be seeing this years from now after I've sold it long, long time ago. And you can still use this video as a point of reference to check condition, check originality. That's really the point of these close-up videos for the global community because um, there's not really many places you can go to do this and see what the screws look like, um, you know, what what the, the logo and font on the pickups look like. All very, very good reference tools. As far as the fit and finish and feel, this thing uh, is very light. It's very, I mean, it's just all the weights in the body. So it is a bit awkward to pick up anywhere up here because you've got like, no weight. The neck is pretty sure it's graphite. I'll tell you one thing. The resonance and sustain is insane. And the whole body just vibrates and vibrates and vibrates forever. It's still going. Still going. Still going. Still going. Still feeling it. And it's just fading out now. That's that's pretty wild. Alright guys, I'm going to get going. i got way too many videos to do for you today. Stick around on the channel. Many more coming up. If you want to chat about this, you can hit me up on Facebook. It's Essex Recording Studios. That's the name of the page. You can also talk to us on Instagram, at Essex Recording Studios, and Twitter, at Essex Recording. Later, dudes.